This film is based on the true story of Natasha Kampusch, a 10-year-old Austrian girl who was kidnapped and held captive by a man named Wolfgang for more than eight years. Natasha was abused, violated, and treated like a slave. Her only fault was that she smiled. Despite this, Natasha never stopped thinking about the outside world, and she eventually managed to escape. To know how she escaped from captivity, stay with me till the end. Movies Hunter here, today I am going to explain a crime drama film released in 2013 called 3096 Days. At the beginning of the film, we see Natasha, a 10-year-old girl who is at a bar with her alcoholic father. Her parents are divorced and Natasha does not have a good relationship with either of them. Because of this, Natasha would eat a lot and she eventually gained a lot of weight. One day, after having an argument with her mother, Natasha decides to walk to her school alone. But on her way, she gets kidnapped by Wolfgang, who was waiting for her there. He then takes her straight to his house and locks her in a well-hidden room in his basement. Natasha tries to escape, but she learns that the door is locked. Later on, when Wolfgang comes down, Natasha begs him to let her go. But Wolfgang does not even bother to answer. Natasha is scared for her life and tries calling for help, but since she is locked so deep in the basement, no one can hear her scream. A few days later, Wolfgang starts telling Natasha bedtime stories and would also give her a goodnight kiss. Meanwhile, Natasha's mother files a missing report of her daughter. Days pass by and Natasha is still locked in the room. She has lost track of time and doesn't even know how long she has been there. Meanwhile, Wolfgang lives a normal life with his mother. One day, Natasha asks Wolfgang to send her letter to her parents so that they wouldn't worry about her. But Wolfgang lies to her saying that her parents don't care about her as they haven't paid the ransom money yet, which he actually never demanded. Wolfgang wants Natasha to think that her parents have abandoned her and was an unwanted child. One day, Wolfgang installs a microphone to listen to Natasha and also to talk to her. 183 days pass by and Natasha is getting accustomed to imprisonment. To force Natasha to submit to his will, Wolfgang continuously repeats, Obey me, obey me, obey me. One day when Wolfgang brings her food, Natasha pretends to be ill and asks him to take her to a doctor. But Wolfgang sees through her lie and keeps her hungry for four days as punishment. During these four days, Natasha begs Wolfgang out of desperation to bring her some food as she is very hungry. Wolfgang is listening to her and is very happy to see Natasha suffer. Every day, he repeats, obey me, obey me, obey me. Four years pass by and Wolfgang always repeated these words to brainwash Natasha and make her submit to his will. Because of the continuous hunger punishment, Natasha lost a lot of weight and became skinny. To get food from Wolfgang, Natasha has to obey Wolfgang's demands. If she doesn't, Wolfgang would keep her hungry for days. On the 1695th day, Natasha gets her first period, so she requests Wolfgang to let her take a shower upstairs. Wolfgang agrees and takes her upstairs. For the first time in 1695 days, Natasha is leaving the basement. One day, Wolfgang's mother finds Natasha's hair in the bathroom. So Wolfgang decides to shave Natasha's head to avoid exposing Natasha's DNA. On the 1837th day, Natasha celebrates Christmas with Wolfgang. He gifts her with a Walkman. Natasha is happy as she can now listen to music when she is alone. 
But when she asks about her family, Wolfgang gets furious and tells her that all her family members are dead. To make her forget about her family, Wolfgang gives Natasha a new name and calls her Vivi. Natasha's mother is still pained by the disappearance of her daughter and hopes that she will return someday. Days pass by and Natasha is now able to go upstairs frequently and help Wolfgang with daily household work. Wolfgang makes Natasha work without clothes as he wants to make her feel ashamed and never dare to run away like this. One day, Natasha is told to sleep upstairs with Wolfgang. For the first time in years, Natasha is going to sleep upstairs with her kidnapper. Wolfgang ties his left hand and Natasha's left hand together so that she doesn't run away. Later on, Natasha expresses her desire to go out with Wolfgang. He tells her that he will take her out only if she behaves herself. One day, Wolfgang goes to a market to buy supplies for Natasha and also buy some protection. Later that night, he calls Natasha to sleep with him upstairs. But this time, Wolfgang ties his left hand to Natasha's right hand. He then gets on top of her and forces himself on her. Once he is done, Natasha requests him to take her to the garden. Wolfgang agrees as he wants to reward her for her first night. Despite being held captive for years, Natasha never gave up her yearning for the outside world. 2029 days have passed by and Natasha is now being taught by Wolfgang to cook. He abuses Natasha, beats her and humiliates her again and again to force her to submit to his will. While dining, Natasha sees the picture on the wall and thinks of how she would escape far away from the reach of Wolfgang. One day, Wolfgang decides to take Natasha with him to buy some supplies. For the first time in years, Natasha is seeing the outside world which has changed a lot since she was abducted. Wolfgang buys a new pair of clothes for Natasha and reminds her not to run away or else he will kill her. They then go to the market to buy some paint. Wolfgang deliberately disappears from Natasha's side to test whether she will run away or not. Natasha thinks of asking for help, but Wolfgang's words keep repeating in her mind. Obey me, obey me, obey me. Despite having the chance, Natasha could not run away and stood there waiting for Wolfgang. For passing the test, Wolfgang makes a bedroom for her upstairs on the 2175th day. But in truth, it is just for his own convenience so that he can force himself on her whenever he wants. One day, Natasha listens to the radio and learns that the police couldn't find any lead on her kidnapping and are assuming that she is dead. So later, Natasha asks Wolfgang, Why did you pick me? Wolfgang calmly says, I saw you smile. Wolfgang reveals that after encountering Natasha at a shop, he began building the underground prison to hold her captive. It took him 10 months to finish the prison in the basement. After finishing the underground prison, Wolfgang waited for the right moment to abduct her. Wolfgang wanted Natasha to belong only to him, whom he could control and make her follow all his commands. One day, Natasha burns some tissue papers to create smoke as she wants to commit suicide and free herself from this endless cycle of torture and abuse. But in the end, she couldn't do it and put out the smoke. When Wolfgang learns about her suicide attempt, he beats Natasha repeatedly as he doesn't want to be alone. Natasha requests Wolfgang to let her go, but he tells her that he will never let her leave. Later on, Natasha records the number of times Wolfgang hit her, punched her, kicked her, and slapped her. Realizing that Natasha is not going to obey him without getting anything in return, Wolfgang takes Natasha to the mountains for skiing on the 2847th day. Wolfgang allows her to go on her own as he knows that she is not going to escape. Sometime later, Natasha goes to the washroom 
There, she finds a woman and asks her for her help. But unfortunately, the woman was from a different country and couldn't understand her language. When Wolfgang learns about it, he immediately takes her back to his house. Soon after returning home, Wolfgang punches her repeatedly for trying to escape. Natasha then records the beatings and stores them in a box. On the 2908th day, Natasha turns 18 and they celebrate her birthday. Wolfgang then gifts her a red dress. Natasha puts on the dress and after which she dances with Wolfgang. One day while working in the garden, Wolfgang's neighbors talks to them. But Natasha couldn't find the strength to ask for her help. She got plenty of chances to escape. But whenever she did try to escape, she kept hearing Wolfgang's words repeating in her mind. Obey me, obey me, obey me. One day, Wolfgang tells Natasha that he is going to sell his van which he used to kidnap Natasha eight years ago. So after 3096 days, Wolfgang tells Natasha to help him clean the van. While cleaning, Natasha sees that the gate is open and realizes that she can run away. Just then, Wolfgang gets a call from the buyer. So he goes inside the house to talk to the client. Natasha seizes the opportunity to escape and runs away as far as possible from her kidnapper. Wolfgang comes to check on Natasha but is stunned to learn that she has escaped. After running for a while, Natasha runs to the house of an old woman and asks for her help. Some time later, two police officers come to the old woman's house. Natasha tells them that her name is Natasha Kampusch and that she was kidnapped eight years ago. While she is being taken to a safe place, Wolfgang commits suicide by lying in front of a running train. After being held captive for eight years, Natasha finally reunites with her parents. She is finally free from the torture and abuse that she went through for the past eight years. No child should ever go through such an experience in their life. Luckily, Natasha was strong enough to keep her sanity even after all these years. It is said that many years after escaping from her prison, Natasha returned to Wolfgang's house and now lives in the same house where she was once imprisoned. Some people call it Stockholm Syndrome, but for Natasha, it was 3096 days of her life. And so this was the story of 3096 days. For more such interesting movies, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next hunt. See you in the next hunt.